So to amend the date and time and also to allow the hands to be amended to the correct time as well, what you need to do is make sure you're in timekeeping mode, which you'll see by the digital time here. And obviously you can just cycle through the various display parameters on timekeeping mode. Now what you need to do is just press the adjust button to the top left hand corner for a couple of seconds when it says ADJ let go and what you'll see is a couple of letters flashing away here now in this case it is the city code that you're going to set the your local time to so in this aspect London is the nearest city to me being in the northeast of England but what I'm going to quickly show you is the city codes for the rest of the world that are built into this watch so if you want to press pause while I'm showing you that page then please do so to see the, the city code that is nearest to you and we're back so as you can see I've got London but you can change it if you press the bottom right hand button to Madrid Paris Rome Berlin etc and it will go east across the world in terms of the time zones but you can also go west as well so you can go backwards if you went a bit too far so in this instance my nearest city is London so I'm going to keep it to that but one thing to mention regarding this make sure that you do set it to your nearest city because what you set here will affect all the other times within the world time feature on this watch so just bear that in mind and that includes with the daylight same time so whatever you set city code to just bear in mind that it will affect all the other times that are featured in the world time so it is important that you do get the right city for your local time the next one will be daylight saving time so we're honoring daylight saving time here in the uk and it's on at the minute so if i want to turn it off you can press the button to the bottom right hand corner but if I want to turn it back on you can press it and what will happen you'll see the DST being highlighted with a bar just above the letters DST so again off or on so there you go the next one is the 12 hour or 24 hour formats so I'm going to put it in the 24 hour format or known as military time in the USA or you can pop it back to 12 hour or 24 hour but I'll keep it in 24 hours just so you can see how it looks on the digital display the next one's the seconds anything over 30 seconds it'll add the value of one to the minutes which i'll show you now so press the right and um, bottom right hand button to reset it and as you can see it's added one to the minutes but if you just reset it below 30 seconds it'll just reset the seconds moving it along you've got the hours so currently the local time here in here in the uk is 12 42 so i'm going to go forwards or I'm going to go backwards to the top right hand corner pressing that button there so as you can see I'm going to go backwards so I'm going to go to what would be 1243 so press the mode button takes you to the minutes and I can go backwards as you can see here or I can go forwards as a so wish so backwards is what I'm going to do and then it will take you to the year so again you can go forwards or you can go backwards so to 2024 and then what I'm going to amend is the date so what you've got there you've got the month and you've got the date within the month so it is September the 19th so what I'm going to do is put that to 9 and then I'm going to put that to 19 and then it will take me to what is known as the key mute function now that is just the button presses and the beeps and stuff like that you can mute it on this watch so if you want to mute the button beeps and stuff like that what you do you press the button here and it'll say mute if you want to turn it back on if it is muted you can just press it again so it's got the key and the musical symbol moving it along one this is the light duration which you can extend from one and a half seconds which is indicated by the one to three seconds which is indicated by the three so back to one and then finally what you can do you can change the way that the day in of the week is featured in a different language so in this instance i've got it as english but if you want the day of the week being shown in either portuguese or spanish french german italian you can easily do so and i'm going to pop it back to english and then what i'm going to do is press it one more time and it will take me back to the city code adjustment as you can see here and if you want to come out of it or all come out of it at any one time during the adjustment phase you just press the top left hand button and that will take you to the time and what you can see the hands that are synchronized with the digital time is now going to take me back to what would be quarter to 12 in the afternoon or sorry quarter to one in the afternoon so there you go it'll just suddenly stop and there you go so it's took me back to that so it is 12 45 and you probably notice it is a little bit off but you can adjust that so it is more synchronized with the hands and what you need to do you just i believe you long press the adjust button until it says hs and then that will take you off to 
that feature where you can change the hands depending on what you've got on the digital time. So it is more synchronized with the time that you got featured there. In the description box below, I have linked to the instructions for this watch, which will show you how to do that more in depth. And that's how to adjust the date and time and a few other parameters on this Casio AQ S810W analog digital watch. Mm -hmm.